By the early 20th century, research toward photons and how they behave was well underway. A photon is a particle representing a quantum of light or other electromagnetic radiation. A photon carries energy proportional to the radiation frequency, but has zero rest mass. It was observed that when an X-ray charged photon interacts with an atom, the X-rays are scattered at an unknown angle and their wavelength is related to the angle that they are scattered at. In 1923, Arthur Compton concluded in a paper called The Physical Review, that when an X-ray charged photon collides with not the atom, but an electron, which is in the atom's outer shell, the photon is scattered at an angle and its wavelength increases proportionally with the angle. He calls this Compton scattering or the Compton effect. When an X-ray photon and an electron collide, the energy within the system is conserved, which makes it an elastic collision. This can be shown as EK initial is equal to EK final. However, in inelastic and elastic scattering, it's different. In elastic scattering, the initial velocity of the photon is equal to the final velocity of the photon. The electron takes no kinetic energy from the photon. In inelastic scattering, the initial velocity of the photon has to be equal to the final velocity of the photon plus the final velocity of the electron. This means that the kinetic energy of the photon initially is equal to the final velocity of the photon plus the final velocity of the electron. When an X-ray charged photon collides with an electron, you can find the initial wavelength, the final wavelength, and the speed, which is C. Then you have the mass of the electron and the angle of scattering. Um, in order to use the Compton formula, you also need Planck's constant, which is written as H. The Compton formula is change in wavelength is equal to h over the mass of the electron times the speed of the photon, and then all that times 1 minus cos of the angle.